When Autodesk Revit is opened, you begin in the Startup window, where you can select from previously viewed projects, families, and resources. Once I select on a project to open it, I have a variety of tools that I can use to edit my Revit model. The Ribbon, the Properties Palette, the Project Browser, and the View window. The ribbon at the top of the display consists of tabs, panels, and tools. Notice that when I select on a tool with a drop-down arrow, I get additional tools. The project browser lets you select different views of the project. Notice as I select from some different plan views, 3D views, or elevation views. The quick access toolbar also has a variety of tools that I can use. Notice that when I hold my cursor over a tool, a tooltip appears that describes the tool. When I select on a tool, the command begins and I have different options I can select from and enter on the options bar. I can also specify properties on the properties palette for the object that I am inserting. Additionally, when I select objects that are already created, I can change the properties on the options bar or the properties palette. Notice the options available on the contextual tab of the ribbon when an object is selected. I can use quick keys such as ZA to zoom out in a window. Notice that in this plan view I have elevation markers. The elevation markers are linked to the elevation views. All I have to do is double click on the elevation marker and the corresponding elevation view is opened. In any 3D view, I can use the view cube to navigate the different views of the model. Notice that I can select on predefined views of the view cube, or I can click and drag to orbit the view. I can also click on home, which is a predefined set view. Finally, I can use the navigation bar to perform functions such as zoom to fit.